someone tried to rob our house while we were all at home and we freaked him out so much that he literally gave up and we called the cops and he just surrendered. So it's 2 p.m. in Jordan, in July, broad daylight. You can see everything. <laughs> my neighbor looked at me. Anyways, he walks into the house. He goes to the bottom floor. My aunt is downstairs. You might be wondering, is she okay? Yeah, she was praying. He didn't even, she didn't even notice him. Um, he literally looked down and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she thought it was me. So he runs back upstairs and he goes to the main floor. He opens the door. My mom just came back from the antique store. She bought a few goodies, you know, a few daggers, a few swords. She was just shining them. So imagine you as a burglar walking into, like, opening a door and just seeing Samurai Jack in front of you and just being like, oh, like, we're not about to have a boss fight over here. So he gets, he gets freaked out and she starts screaming. The whole family comes to him. He freaks out because now my aunt's in front of him, posse in front of him, goes upstairs. Who's upstairs? Me and my cousin. We're playing Call of Duty, full volume. He gets so freaked out, he thinks we have weapons or something. So he just goes like this, sits on the floor, and he's like, please call the cops. <laughs> if you can avoid having a white roommate, trust me, and just don't have one. Because, like, no hate to my YouTube people, but, like, my freshman year... Okay, maybe if you're POC, I don't know what to tell you. I, my freshman year, I was a fob. I showed up to America, go to the college, like, freshman year, you know, dorms, whatever, sharing a closet. Like, my room was a closet, basically. It was so small. And, like, whatever. I was praying one day. I'm Muslim. So I was on the floor. He comes home. And he was just like, what are you looking for, dude? Like, I can help you look. I was like... And he's not nice. Like, that was the first time he's ever offered help. Like, that's so awkward. And he was just like... He was, and I can't I can't interrupt my... Like, I can't be like, oh, oh yeah, like, blah, blah. And then continue praying. That's so... That's rude. I can't. So I continued praying. And he's still... He goes behind me. And he's on the floor behind me. Literally look at... Not me converting someone. But he's, like, <laughs> looking for something. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and then I finished and I stand up and he was like, w did you find what you were looking for? I was like, yeah, I guess. And he was like, what was it? I was like, I don't know. Like, God, like, leave me alone, please. Do not try and make new friends because do you know what happens when you do? I was making a friend today and do you know what I was asked? I was asked, hey, you grew up in the Middle East, right? Um, How did you get to school? Wasn't it like super tiring and like hot? I was like, Stephanie, what do you mean? She goes, you know, like, I'm assuming you have to walk or take a camel. A camel walk. Don't ask dumb questions to Arabs. It's stupid. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> I'm not stopping me. Like, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that I'm a real life catfish. I don't mean to do it, but I just lie at every single event I go to. I always go up to people, and whenever they ask me, like, what's your name? Like, anything. I'm just like, my name's Adam. My name is not Adam. I am not from London, and there are hundreds of people out there <laughs> that think that I'm Adam from London. That's so embarrassing. Like, one time I met people, and then the next day, they were going to the same Beyonce concert I was going to. So, they were like, want to come with? And I was like, sure, why not? But, like, I had to commit. Like, I had to commit. So, I was British the entire time, okay? Like, and, and the entire time, I was just like, I love her songs, yeah? Like, such a big fan, yeah? Like... All the single ladies, all the si like <laughs> they never caught on, and then like we never saw each other afterwards. And to this day, like Heather and Lily, I'm so sorry and thank you for the ride. Also, Aid Mubarak. <laughs> You do not know how to park. Do not park because you know what happens when you do? You hit me. I don't even know how to fucking park properly, okay? But I pick my battles, okay? So today I'm getting out of my parking spot and all I hear is just, don't back out, don't back out. So I thought someone was fucking, I was about to hit someone. So I go back into my spot and as I'm going back in, I just hear, Pff. and I was like, you're kidding. I got out of the car and I was like, no, you're joking. Someone hit me. And then I see the dude and I was just like, come on, dude. And first thing he goes, he's like, you motherfucker fucking dude like you hit me it was your fault i was like no it fucking wasn't and then he was like no it was let's check the fucking security tapes so we get to the security tapes he shows us the security guard and he was just like yeah no it was his fault so i was like okay let's exchange information so we do that and then we finish and i'm just like i'm gonna take a few pictures of your car if you don't mind and he was like no that's fine i'm just gonna start going away i was like that's fine he gets in his car starts starts playing his music rolls down his window can't really hear it backs up hits me and then drives off with making my way downtown playing are you fucking so now i'm biking 
If you're not from New York and you want to take the subway in New York, honestly, be a girl boss and take the taxi, okay? Do not do it. Do not do it. My first time ever taking the subway, this woman sits in front of me, starts lifting the back of her skirt, lift, 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 bare ass on the seat. Disgusting to begin with, because I was sitting on a seat that could have, you know, touched the bare ass. Like, that's disgusting. But it's fine. And then next thing you know, you just hear, like, <laughs> and then on the floor no one gives a fuck no one gives a fuck me and my friend are looking around like we're just like please please like fucking anyone care someone care no one gives i'm actually british i'm from london and what you just said is extremely rude and racist and i could report you and probably get you in some sort of trouble so he was like oh i don't believe you that was a different language and i was like nah that's just how we speak in the uk you've been away from the motherland for too long are you joking and then i was like <laughs> As a from colonizer to colonizer, next time, just keep those racist remarks to yourself or to those meetings. Did you get me? And he was like, young man, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. I thought you were one of those sand N-words. I had no idea. Yes, okay, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll be out of your way. They, uh, nice to meet you, sir. Of course I blew up on him and I was like, you fucking idiot, I'm Arab, I got you. The language should not fucking make a difference, you piece of shit. I reported him to Ralph, Supermarket. I broke my fast because I cussed. So for that, fuck you. I'm this close to canceling my family. Before I get into it, this is what I looked like at 17. I was like 300 and something pounds. Okay. I swear to God, I almost snatched my aunt's hijab for this. But anyways, I ran down this hallway. I jump on my grandparents' bed and I broke it, of course, except it was a fucking waterbed. So of course, two slits on my sides. I'm literally drowning. Michael Phelps over here. It's fine. I get out. I'm like, let me just sneak out all I hear. Suna! Tsunami, tsunami. And my aunt is there. She comes in. She's just like, Habibi, did you forget your size? Who says that? Why would you say that? Why would you? Like, what if I was two sides? Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on. And my uncle just looks at me and he was like, you look like Norbit. Norbit? Why would you say that? My mom, I walk past her, literally soaking wet, dripping. My mom just looks at me like this and she was just like. <clears throat> the only reason I remembered this is because I broke my bed today. I have the worst vaccines to all. I just got vaccinated. My appointment was at 9.30. I was supposed to get Pfizer. I get in at 11. I sit at the front. They see me at the front. They fucking vaccinated everyone behind me first. I don't know why. It's like I was wearing camo. I was invisible. It's fine. She gets to my turn. She stabs me and she drops it. Ah! <laughs> she dropped the Pfizer is down. <laughs> it's okay. And then she vaccinated everyone else except me. And I was there until 1.30. And she vaccinated the people that work there. And then came to me and was like, you want Johnson & Johnson? Do you want me to have baby soap in my arm? Like, no, no, what? It's been recalled. How are you even? I got Moderna, but my God. Fuck exercising, I'm so mad. Oh my god, Nathany, you know how I've been trying to be skinny and like jog recently? So I jogged into the wrong neighborhood today, I guess. Because while I was jogging, I just see a fucking beam of light shining on me. And I was just like, right, so I'm getting abducted by aliens, right? And then <laughs> next thing you know, dude, I hear like, and I was like, what the fuck is that? It's a fucking helicopter, that's where the light's coming from. And then I hear, wee woo, wee woo, and two cops come out and they're like, get on the floor. And I was like, ah. And I get on the floor and I was like, I'm screwed, right? They, they're like, do you have ID? They check my wallet. They're like, ah, it's not him. They throw him on the floor. And I was like, first of all, but also like, what the fuck? What does he look like? What's going on? First of all, he's black and he's bald. I'm neither. I'm neither. I'm so confused. This is why I don't do things like I have asthma. I can't do this. Like, I already can't run. And I have a hole in my heart. I don't want to die. Like, this is so, fuck this. Fuck the GNC store, I'm so pissed. So I go with my friends, my two friends, they're dating. I'm no longer friends with them actually. They're like, can we get a protein bar real quick? I was like, of course, go for it. I stand outside because do I look like I have business at a GNC store? No, I do not. So I stand outside, they take 20 minutes. I was like, why is it taking 20 minutes? So I go inside, I was like, what is going on? They're like, oh, they have their calculators out, mind you. And they're like, oh, we're trying to figure out how many we need to buy to get the sixth one free. This. The six one free. Bitch, you take all six to the cash register, he charges you for five, you get the six one free. So I was like, you just take all six, dumbass. He's like, she's like, oh, babe, I told you so. Y'all had a debate about this? Bitch, this is why I'm walking home alone, okay? This is why I'm walking home alone. Because I refuse to get in a car with stupid people like that. You will kill me by accident because you're dumb. The fuck? If you're seeing this, we're not friends anymore. Fuck Colorado, bro. I just fucking, oh my God. I was.
was looking for a gas station. I took the wrong turn and I ended up in the middle of nowhere. Literally just trees and then this road. And I'm just in the middle. And I was like, I don't know where the fuck I am. And then I was like, okay, let me park to the side and get some signal and try and like find a gas station, right? Next thing you know, something crashes into me. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Someone just crashed into me in the middle of nowhere. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. And then I was like, wait a second, it's the woods. There's no streets. How? How? And then next thing you know, I turn my flashlight on my window. It's a bear. It's a bear. Winnie the Pooh came for me. So I start honking to like fix it, right? I like make it go away. It won't go away. So I blast music. And my music's on shuffle. What fucking plays? Gucci flip flops. Bad baby saved my life. Why? Why? What was the biggest lie you got away with as a kid? Because, okay, I, this is my first apology video, I guess. Sorry, I'm the love if you're watching this. But, like, as a kid, I had chronic nosebleeds, okay? So, like, they would dry up and it would look like the inside of my mold. And, like, if you just do that, so sad, I can't even fit my fingers in my nose anymore because I have FFS, fat finger syndrome, if you're asking. I named it myself. I just, it's so sad. Anyways, basically, I did this and I took it out and it was, like, disgusting, stuck to my finger, no tissues around. It was middle of the class or whatever, so I couldn't, like, stand up or do anything. So I just put it on the back of the seat. Disgusting. I know, it's fine. I can get hate for that. But this other girl, she's like, Ew, Abdullah, what's that on the back of your seat? He turns around, he's like, well, like, I swear to God, like, I swear to God, it was not me, it was not me. My ass, I was right next to him. They would have known. They would have known. It, would have, it could have been me or the person next to him. So I turned around and I was like, Abdullah, I saw you do that. Yep, yep I did. He moved schools, y'all. Like, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Abdullah, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you see famous people in the wild or like influencers, don't go up to them. It's not worth, trust me, it's not worth it. I bumped into Miss Tana Mojo like a few years ago and it's by far the most awkward experience of my entire life. <laughs> Nothing against Tana Mojo, but trust me when I say this, like if you are not on your way out, don't talk to them or take pictures with them. It's not worth it. So basically, I wanted a smoothie. It was like freaking 9 p.m. The only place that was open was a hookah lounge that does that. And you can like go in and like work inside with like a charging port, right? Okay, cool. I get there, I see outside, right? There's like down the hall, I see like Christine Sudoku. I'm like, no way, like I have to go up to her, obviously. So like Mary Chrysler, whatever, we take pictures. She asked me to smoke. I was like, I have asthma, so sorry. I walk away. And as I'm walking to the place, mind you, there are bars around. There are multiple areas and locations. I hear that laugh that I have been smoking since I was 14 years old laugh. I turn around and it's Tana Mojo. I obviously go up to her, I take pictures, whatever. I go inside, I sit down, and they all walk in and sit right in front of me. That's so awkward. Okay, when I went to London, I didn't pay for a single thing. Like, no pastries, no drinks, no coffee, no tea, nothing. And this is how I did it. So you go up to your local barista, and I use a British accent because I feel like they don't like American accents that much. And I was just like, all right, if I trick you, can I get something for free? And he was like, that is not how we do business here absolutely not and i was like mate just allow it like entertain it it's just a hypothetical like it's fine who's that like, fine like go and i was like all right so two plus two who's that like, four i was like minus one he's like three i was like quick mass he's like that's it i was like no i'm american he was like you <sighs> what you're not are you see no you're not you prove it i was like i showed my id he was like you're what
friend, what's your order? I was like, I, I did that four times. I did that four, I was there for four days. I did it four times. Works like a charm. It's mental illness. It's mental illness. I've been stopped 20 times and I still don't know what a speeding ticket is because I've never gotten one. So this is how I get out of all of them. <laughs> I'm not a bad driver, by the way. I just have to do a lot of long trips for photography, okay? So leave me alone. Sometimes we have to pick up the pace. Anyway, my first time, I was going from San Francisco to LA and I was driving 120 and I zoomed past the state troop. State, mm, that's wrong. Highway patrol, highway patrol. And I zoomed past him and he like turns the sirens on. So like I stop and then he's like, oh, take the exit, I take the exit, I park. And then he comes up and he's like, do you know how fast you were going? And first thing I said, I was just like, officer, you could literally arrest me or like, I don't know, give me a ticket or something because I deserve it. But literally, thank you because you just saved my life. I just got, this is a rental and like, I just got these shoes and they got stuck on the pedal and like the carpet. And like, oh my God, I was so scared. And if you did turn your sirens on, I wouldn't have like freaked out and like jumped out of my seat and like fixed the situation. So literally, thank you. And they let me out every single time. I have never gotten a ticket, baby. The fuck? fuck Valentine's Day. Oh my God. I just got done with the worst thing ever. Oh my God. This girl, we've been talking for months. We're finally in the same town at the same time. I was like, oh, can I take you out for a Valentine's lunch? That's the only time she's free. She's like, yes. I told her it's nice. We have the back room, COVID safe, all that. She's like, okay, perfect. We show up at the restaurant. We meet outside. She comes out and rollerblades. Why are you wearing hot pink? They're fuck ugly hot pink rollerblades. Why? Why? Ew. And then we, I was like, do you have shoes? I don't think they're going to let us in. She was like, yeah, but they're too small. I don't want to wear them. I was like, why would you break them? Ew. We start walking to the place. She's like, I was like, why are you acting weird? She's being weird. I, she was like, oh, I woke up anxious today. I was like, that's valid. You could have called and canceled. You could have called and canceled. Now we get there. They're like, oh, we can't let you in with those shoes. You damaged the floor. What the bitch? Fucking no shit, Sherlock. Now 